Hi friends, it's Miss Eliza, children's librarian at the Waukee Public Library. For this week's Elementary Maker Monday, we are making some sound visualization horns. So basically, this is an experiment that's gonna let us actually visually see what happens when sound waves move through an instrument. So the things that you're gonna to need to make this project are some cardboard tubes. And you're gonna to wanna to start with one that's longer, like a paper towel tube or like part of a wrapping paper tube. And then you might also want some smaller, like tissue sized tubes or just more pieces of your bigger one um, to make your own kind of instrument because you can really design it however you'd like. You're also gonna need some scissors and some tape, and you could use regular tape or masking tape, washi tape. I've got some nice duct tape here that might help um, to put together those cardboard tubes. You're also going to need either a balloon or some saran wrap, something that's sort of thin and smooth and um, um, that you can put uh, our oobleck on at the end, something that's a little bit stretchy and can be smooth. And we're just gonna affix that with a rubber band, so you'll need one of those too. And then the important thing in this experiment is that oobleck. So you've probably made this before. It's a non-Newtonian fluid, which means it's not really a liquid. It's not really a solid. You can kind of play with it and it changes its shape. It drips, but it feels solid too. It's really cool. And all you need to make oobleck is cornstarch and water. So for the amount that we need, which is really just a teeny tiny bit to do this experiment, we use like about a third of a cup of water to about a half of a cup of cornstarch, but you can kind of add and mix together till you get a texture that you like. You just want it to be able to be picked up kind of like this, but also drip down in that liquidy form as well. So you can mix some of that up and then we'll get started on our experiment. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do if you have this longer tube is you're gonna wanna cut the ends diagonally. So I already cut this one, but you can see I kinda just went a little bit in from either side and made a diagonal cut right down and hang on to this piece because you're gonna want that too. So you're gonna make the same kind of cut on the other side and it's gonna look kinda like this. And then you're gonna put the longer flat bottom side, leave that facing down and then take the ends that you cut off and kind of flip them upside down. All right, so it started off kind of like this and then I cut it and then you're gonna flip it up and you're gonna make kind of a right angle. So you're gonna go, it's gonna go down and up kind of making a corner there and you're gonna wanna take that on and you'll do the same thing with the other end. So you'll kind of flip it, it was like this, and then you're gonna flip it over and up and you're gonna kind of make them the two points meet and then you're gonna tape it so that you have kind of this U shape. So I'm gonna tape that and then I'll be right back. All right, so you can see I just did a pretty quick and messy tape job. It doesn't have to be super precise because nothing's going through your tube. It's not holding water or anything like that. It's just gonna hold the breath that we blow into the end. So you wanna make sure that it's pretty well connected and that there aren't any like really big open spots for that air to escape, but it doesn't have to look very pretty. So you can do a lot of different designs and it's really up to you. You just wanna make sure that you have one end that you can blow into and then one end that is flat because that's how we're gonna place our oobleck. So I'm gonna choose this end as my flat end. Let me get one more piece of tape to really wrap around and connect this well. And then we need a surface for our oobleck to rest on. So I cut the very end off of my balloon and that's gonna make it a little bit easier to go over the top. In fact, I might cut it a little bit more because we don't need it to do any balloon things. We just need it to be a flat surface. So then if you pull it tightly over the top of your tube, you can see it's pretty flat on there. And if you ha are using saran wrap or your balloon just doesn't fit quite as well, you might wanna use a rubber band to kind of seal that up. I'm gonna put one more piece of tape on this other end as well, just to make sure. All right, so now if I blow into this end, I won't be able to feel it coming out because it's blocked by the balloon but it is still gonna be in there and those sound waves should make a vibration. So you're gonna to wanna to take a little bit of oobleck. You don't need much at all, just a tiny bit. Oh, careful not to get it on the table like I did. 
All right, so oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid, which means that it goes in between liquid and solid and has some other really cool properties. So how it's gonna work, as you can see now, I put a little bit on, it did drip down the side and that's okay, but on the top, it's pretty flat and it's just kind of sitting there not doing much. And then if I make a sound into the other end, that sound wave should travel through the tube trumpet I've created all the way up to the end of the balloon where the rubber band is holding it tight and that should hit the oobleck and we should be able to see it move. It's kind of a hard thing to catch on film, so you'll have to try this experiment yourself and see what kind of movement you get, but I am gonna give it a shot, let's see. So you'll make a sound and you can try, see what it's like if you do a hum or if you yell really loud or if you make a quiet talking sound and you can see how that changes how your oobleck moves. Ah, 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 ah. You can see it wiggling a little bit. You can experiment at home and see what you can do too. You might wanna try it with a little bit more or a little bit less black. You might wanna try making a more complicated shape so you can build on and make all different kinds of shapes. Um, you can see if it changes, if it's a really big structure or if you keep it kind of a small structure. So there's a bunch of different things you can see, but the thing to know from the science is that the sound wave is going to make a physical reaction happen from the vibrations that it creates inside that tube. And those vibrations will make your oobleck move. So hopefully that's kind of a fun way that you can see sound. All right, so after playing around with our oobleck experiment and this horn, I found that it was pretty tricky to get it to actually move unless I made a really loud noise and since I'm in the library <laughs> I think it would have been a better experiment to do at home or maybe outside but when you make a sound that's loud enough and I found that it worked especially well using a low kind of bass heavy sound kind of like a low hum that was really loud you could see the oobleck begin to move and ripple a little bit on the surface of the balloon so it's very cool to see I also think it would have been really neat to watch somebody else do it so I could focus on the oobleck instead of the sound I was making. So that's another thing you might want to try is to do this experiment with a friend. If you aren't able to make a sound that's loud enough, you can also put this right up to a speaker. Maybe if you have a device that can play music or right on the open end and then you should be able to see the oobleck moving as the speaker sound goes through the tube. If you are having trouble, you can also try taking off this first one and just seeing if you have just that L-shaped right angle, if that one works to be able to make your oobleck move. It's a really fun experiment to see. And I will say if all else fails and you aren't able to make a trumpet work, you can still see sound waves using oobleck by putting them in a bowl, like especially a paper or a plastic bowl would work. Just put a small layer of oobleck and put that whole bowl right on top of a speaker and then play something loud and then you'll definitely be able to see that oobleck dance. It's a really cool way to see how sound waves have a physical effect on things in their environment. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.